This is a quick little demo of the Texa software for medium and heavy duty trucks. Um, as, as you can see, it also does uh, exotic cars, off highway, bike and marine. But the environment that you would be interested in would be the truck. So as you can see, it has heavy duty, medium, light commercial, powertrain and trailer. Let's go into the heavy duty. Uh, my understanding, you do International, you do Kenworth, you do Peterbilt, and on the smaller vehicles, you're doing Ford. So let's go into International, and it will read the VIN, but we'll go into International. You can see it has Caterpillar, Cummings, Detroit, International, and MWM. So let's go into International. This that is blinking is a full vehicle scan, which will come up with all your codes. And with that, you can go from uh, a fault code right into that module and do everything that I'll be demonstrating here shortly. Um, down here is all the different modules that it gets into. So you got your fault reading from instrument panel, diesel injection, ABS, ADAS, gateway, hybrid, instrument panel, transmission, and trip data. Then you go up top and then there's vehicle maintenance. If you go into quick service, brakes, engine, after treatment, speed limiter, data, that's under vehicle maintenance. Then you got adjustments and coding, brakes, driver assistance, ECU, engine, keys, PTO, retarder brake, after treatment, speed limiter, transmission, trip data, tires. And then activation tests, airbag, battery, brakes, climate control, comfort, doors, engine, instrument panel display, LED lights, headlights, PTO, and quick service. The point of this demonstration is to show you that this is without a doubt the best tool on the market for the money. It does everything you need it to do minus programming. If you need programming, naturally you have to buy OEM software. So you'd have to buy it for International and all the other trucks that you have, along with every year doing the, the uh, um, paying for the updates. Let's scroll down, we'll go into diesel injection. And as I said, it will read the VIN. I'm in a demo mode. I can't do a full scan because I'm in a demo mode. <clears throat> what it'll go through is it goes through the 1708 and the 1939 uh, protocol. And then once it goes through that, it will come up with your different parameters, your codes, ECU information, activations and settings. Looks like the internet's a little bit busy right now. So here we are. Under, uh, you can see the these are historic codes because they're yellow. If they were current, they would be red. Now the nice thing about, and then if they're clean, they'd be green. So let's just click on crankcase sensor and I'm gonna double click. There it comes up with the error type, the SPN, the FMI, and what you can do is look in your Mitchell information for that. Or if I click on it once, I can go down to the far right and click on web, and we actually have a troubleshooting capabilities. So before you're even out of the truck, if I click on this fault code here, you can see it gives me diagnostic errors, symptoms, causes, solutions. So before you even get out of the truck, you can start uh, having a plan to fix it. The next thing is I'm going to go into parameters. This one has 337 different parameters, engine speed, temperature, etc., cetera, et cetera. And the nice thing about this is down here on the bottom, it gives me a, um, a view with all the different pressures. And it, down on the bottom right, you can see this is one of four. So I go from here to the next one, which is the exhaust, to DPF, and then, uh, you know, barometric pressures, engine oil pressures, and that type of thing. It's uh, ECU information, your activations, and here's a compression test, error clearing, after treatment, I mean, if you go through this, you'll see there is, there's your 
regen information and breaks. There are a lot of functions that you can do with this. And then you go into the settings. And this is, here's your regen injector coating. This is where you want to set your speed limiter, your idling time, and um, all your different settings that you can do. You can't do this with a handheld instrument. Uh, once you get this in your hands, you're going to see the power of it and, and what you can actually do with it. If um, right down at the bottom here is where I could erase each code individually. Or if I go up into activations, you can see here I can do error clearing and get rid of all of them. I'm going to exit out of here. And then we are right back to where we started under this particular truck. So if I want to change trucks, I'm just going to up at the top. I'm going to go all the way back into heavy duty. And then let's pick out uh, the Kenworth. The, again, Caterpillar, Cummins, Detroit, Packard. Let's click on Cummins. The same look. That's, again, the beauty of this is that every single vehicle gives you the same look. It's a very easy system to work with. Um, and it, as I said, everything but programming. Over to the left, you have a little workshop. You got wiring diagrams. So if I want to look at the ABS... The nice thing about these wiring diagrams, it will tell you what each one is. I mean, they're not as extensive as the Mitchell wiring diagrams, but, um, and then you also have technical data sheets. So if I'm under diesel injection and I go here, this is uh, calibration procedures, um, notes regarding AdBlue. So there's a lot of uh, technical data sheets that you can um, get here. Then there's special coding, customer management, and problems that have been solved in the past. And uh, let me go back. And this is where we were. So as you can see, depending upon year, make, and model, the newer the vehicle, the more modules that it gets into. I'll just click on ABS. Naturally, we will come down. I mean, I, I apologize. Like, here's one that's green right now. But we're under the, up at the top, it'll tell you that this is the ABS, Bendix Nor. Look at the parameters. It's only 14 different parameters for this particular vehicle. Your ECU information, your activations, your settings. And then I'm going to exit out of here. I just wanted to give you a quick little demo on the Texa software. Um, any questions, give me a call at 516-778-1112. This is John Van Buren. I'll talk to you soon.